Hey guys, Ivan here, and in today's video we got a couple of very interesting bodybuilding updates. Before we start with them, I want to start this video by apologizing to Charles Griffin. In my previous video, I said that uh, you know he's retired and that he won't be missed that much. And you guys made me feel horrible about what I said, and I absolutely realized that it was a mistake saying something like that, I should not have said it, I don't even know how that came out, I'm 5 weeks out guys, yesterday was my zero carb day because I was depleting for a cheat meal later in the evening, and I guess I lost my filter, you know, I was probably thinking like he won't be missed as much as like Chris Bumstead, who also recently announced retirement, you know, Charles Griffin, I mean, he, he was never in contention of winning the Mr. Olympia or placing inside of the top six, but he was 10th in the world at one point, and that, that's an amazing achievement, that's a huge achievement, and I'm sure he has a lot of fans, a lot of you guys are gonna miss him, actually, and I was also really surprised that so many of you guys actually watched my videos until the very end, because that was like one of the last sentences I said in the video, and yeah, once again, I apologize, I don't know why I said that, I mean, it just came out, I guess, I said basically how I feel, but I shouldn't have said that he won't be missed by others, I'm sure he has a bunch of fans. But yeah, it was a douchebag thing to, to say, and you guys put me in my place, and I appreciate that, actually. I mean, that's basically almost like when your friends put you in your place, when, you're, when your head gets too big. So once again, I should not have said it, I am sorry. I could have just, you know, ignored this, and you would forget all about it in, in a second, basically. That's usually how this thing goes. But no, no, I actually wanted to go back and to apologize about this, because it wasn't right. It wasn't cool to say something like that. Anyways, now let's go with um, today's topic, basically. Uh, first, we're gonna talk about Nick Walker, who just posted something very interesting. So as you guys know, after the whole fiasco with uh, Matt Jansen, uh, who stopped coaching, who retired from coaching, is he gonna be missed as a coach? I don't know about that. Anyways, Nick Walker basically is now coachless. I mean, as far as we know, he didn't announce who his new coach is. Is he prepping alone? Is he doing his offseason alone by himself right now? He doesn't strike me as the type to do that. I'm pretty sure he already has a coach, but who it is? Everybody's wondering. And um, there was a story that uh, C-Bum, actually, Chris Bumstead posted uh, with Nick who is buying cereal. And Anton Voyant made a post in which he said that Stefan Kinzel is known for giving his guys cereal post-workout. So that could mean that he's working with Stefan Kinzel. Now, that was pure speculation, and Anton was just, you know, fooling around. He, he wasn't really serious about it. But, you know, I'm all for speculation. I'm all for talking about the ideas. And Nick also saw that post... And he posted another post, like this one here, and he's actually buying cereal. And in the caption, he's saying, getting my post-workout cereal with a thinking emoji. I mean, he definitely tried to hint that he's actually working with Stefan Kinzel. Why would he do that if he actually wasn't working with him? Shortly after that, he posted this story in which he says, calm down, guys, I'm not working with Boss, the boss of Outlaw, Stefan Kinzel, just had a little craving, ha 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 ha. Is he messing with us? Is he actually working with Stefan? What is he doing? I, I don't get this. I mean, he's definitely messing with my head, <laughs> because I don't know what is happening here. Would he really be, like, promoting Stefan if he wasn't working with him? I mean, that's what he's doing, he never tagged him, he never said anything about that, but we all know, I mean, everybody who is following the bodybuilding scene closely, we all know what that post meant, so if he had another coach, if he was working with Dom Cardone, which is also a speculation, something that a lot of people are actually assuming, uh, then I don't think he would be posting stuff like this, so this either means that he's actually working with Stefan, but for some reason, he's just not ready to announce it yet. Maybe they're just talking right now and they're about to start. Or that he's without a coach. So I'm pretty sure at this point that Nick doesn't have a coach. If he did, I don't think he would be posting stuff like this. I'm pretty sure that he is without a coach right now. And it actually could be Stefan, but they haven't started working uh, yet. And while I was making this video, I actually learned the new information. Nick basically addressed his coaching situation on the Think Big Bodybuilding Media YouTube channel. 
By the way, probably like my favorite uh, nuts and bolts bodybuilding type of uh, podcast or YouTube channel. You guys can go ahead and check it out, subscribe to it if you want. I'll leave the link down below in the comments section, actually in the, in, the, in the description of this video. Anyways, Nick did an interview basically here and he said a couple of very interesting things about his current uh, coaching situation. Basically, who is kind of coaching him uh, right now? Let me show you. All right, so as of right now, I'm not immediately working with anyone. Um, I'm kind of just kind of doing my own dieting and stuff. I, I know how to kind of do that part at this moment. Um, as far as training goes, I, I did link up with uh, Jared Feathers, who is, I guess, part owner of the RP Strength Style Training. All right, all right, very interesting. Finally, we got something. If you guys want to hear the rest of it, you can go to the Think Big Bodybuilding Media YouTube channel and watch the whole video. Anyways, basically, Nick says that now he's doing his own diet. So really, he doesn't have a coach because, as you guys know, in my eyes, the biggest thing that coach does is your diet, really. That's coaching, in my opinion. Of course, your coach is going to tell you what gear to take or how to train. Some coach is going to be deeply involved in your training, but that's very rare because you can't really work with somebody training-wise if you're not there with them on the spot, you know, in the gym. In my opinion, you kind of need to do that uh, by yourself or hire somebody who is specialized in that. But as far as coaching, once again, that, that's diet mainly. And of course, it needs to be synced up with, with what you're taking, with, with gear and also like with training. But basically, as far as his nutrition, he doesn't have a coach for that right now. So it still could be Stefan Kinzel. It could be that they didn't start working yet, but they will soon. Maybe they have. He doesn't want to announce it here. Not yet. I don't know. But I don't think Jared Feather is going to prep uh, Nick for the Mr. Olympia or for any other shows. Uh, he's helping him with training, which is also a big thing. Maybe they're talking about the nutrition as well. Who knows? But as of right now, officially, Nick is not working with a coach. It could be Stefan Kinzel. You guys tell me down below, what do you think? And I'm sorry I don't have any more information, any more concrete information about an actual coach. There is a lot of speculation in this video, but as soon as I find out anything solid, you're gonna know that it's solid based on the thumbnail and the title. So stay tuned, guys. Subscribe to the channel. But now let's move on to the next topic, which is Akeem Williams with two crazy physique updates. And basically the question of... Can Sebam beat this guy? We're all talking about whether Sebam can beat Martin Fitzwater, who is fourth in the world, but we're not talking about the other guys, and uh, there are some monsters in this show. And yeah, Kim still didn't announce that he's doing that show, but he's doing Romania, which is one week before. He's gonna be in Europe. Why wouldn't he stay and do another show, which is basically gonna be the most popular show of the year? Of course he will do it. I'm sure, I'm positive. Anyways, in the caption of this post, he didn't say anything interesting. He basically said that what is... He explained what is in his mouth, which is the Bluetooth advice to click your camera. And also, he's talking about the tapes that he's using, that he started using after his uh, shoulder surgery, whatever. Unfortunately, in the caption, he didn't say something like, you guys are crazy if you think Sibam is gonna beat me. No, no, Akim is not like that. Um, you guys are calling out Nick Walker for being so bold, for being, for, for saying that he's going to win this and that, and then he doesn't show up and so on. I definitely don't agree with that. I like the guys who are confident, who are, who are not afraid to say what I think, and I would love for Akim to write something like that. It would definitely make things uh, more interesting, but no, no, he's very low-key. He's barely even posting physique updates, but we got this today, and again... Can you imagine this guy next to Chris Bumstead, like, with those freaking arms? With those freaking mountain-high bicep peaks? And, like, with those freaking legs that are massive, round, and also shredded? Kim Williams is an absolute monster. And he was beaten by Rafael Brandau, by Martin Fitzwater. But I don't know, guys. I mean, personally, I said in my previous video, and I'm gonna stick with that, I think Chris Bumstead is actually going to win the Prague Pro, beating Martin Fitzwater as well. But then I'm looking at these photos and I'm like, man, it's not gonna be easy beating these guys. It's definitely gonna be a challenge because in the front double, especially with Chris's arms, standing next to these mass monster freaks, I don't know, I don't know. I mean, his structure needs to be so much better and he needs to be so much, so much more detailed and like so perfect the presentation in order to beat these guys. Now, is that possible? Sure, sure, yeah, I believe it. But 
don't take, don't think it's gonna be easy, guys. Not just winning the show, but beating Goldie's freaking top 10 bodybuilders. I mean, Sebam has a huge task, you know, uh, winning this show is gonna be a very, very tall order. I mean, we'll see, but if he does that, then, man, he's gonna go down in history as one of the best bodybuilders, basically. Not just classy guys. Take a look at his side chest, for example, as well. I mean, look at the thickness of the leg from the side, the details in the quads and the, and, and, and the glutes as well. And then the chest thickness, just the thickness overall, shoulders, arms. Man, these guys are gonna be so much bigger than Chris. I mean, he has a perfect structure, but I don't know. I don't know. It's gonna be, it's gonna be very, very interesting. Apples and oranges. But I'm really, I'm really excited to see that. I'm gonna hype this show up as much as possible because this is gonna be the most awesome thing we saw this year. A classic guy versus mass monsters such as this one right here. And in all likeliness, he's going to beat them. I mean, how crazy would that be? I mean, if he looks like this, with those 15, 20 pounds more, then sure, he's going to destroy the lineup and like win the Mr. Olympia next year. But is he gonna be this much bigger? I mean, this Photoshop right here makes him look absolutely nuts. We'll see what's gonna be the size difference, but yeah, it's gonna be an amazing show, guys. I can't wait for it. Alright, the next thing we got is a physique update from HorseMD at only one week out of Romania Pro. Now, in the most recent Menace podcast, Milos Sharchev actually said that HorseMD right now is in just as good of a shape as he was last year at Romania Pro on the day of the stage. His weight right here is 124 kilos, which is about 275 at one week out. Which obviously means that he is going to be huge. And last year at Romania Pro, he was also peeled. Now, should we believe Milo Sharchev that that Horse MD is actually that lean right now? I mean, based on this photo, I don't see it. You know, I can see like the midsection, the skin does look dry and tight. And like maybe the arms are kind of showing that, but then the chest, there is no separation in the chest none so i don't know i don't know maybe they will post uh, like posing photos in which he will, he will actually look more conditioned but from what i'm seeing right here it doesn't look promising you know i don't see what milos is seeing i mean again i don't know what milos saw maybe it's uh, you know proper physique updates maybe his glutes are in this time around and his back and so on but at least in this one photo that he posted he's not shredded i wouldn't say so compare this conditioning to akim williams conditioning i mean it's it's not on that level let's be real but again it could be like just the lighting or bad posing or something like that maybe in his uh poses when he hits the pose and does it like under better lighting he actually looks better i don't know i guess i should trust milo Sharchu, but from what i'm seeing right here it doesn't look very promising you know, but we'll see again in only one week from now. In the meantime, if you guys go to my Instagram account, you can see the post that I just made about my clients, competitors uh, of this season. You can see what I did, who I worked with. And if you guys are looking for a coach, somebody who is not expensive as these top coaches and who doesn't have that many clients who will actually focus on you, you can just DM me on Instagram. We can talk about that. I love to work with competitors, but I have a lot of lifestyle clients as well. Natural guys, whatever your needs are, we can make it work. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and for more content like this guys, stay tuned, subscribe to this channel, thank you guys so much for watching, see you soon, all the best and bye bye.